going on YouTube welcome back to the channel the boy Eric boy D ran e60 today we're gonna compare both of our cars so we got the e65 30 and we got the e39 m5 now we're not comparing the e39 m5 to the to the 530 it's more so of a chassis comparison uh, so the e60 versus the e39 if you don't know 2004 BMW e60 chassis it's 530i rear-wheel drive uh, I've had this car for I think over a year now, so um, it's actually done pretty good. I haven't had any like major problems, just keeping up with the preventative maintenance and whatnot. So we're gonna start off by what I've done to the car so far. We'll start off with the badge. We've got the carbon fiber, white carbon fiber, black carbon fiber. Uh, it's one of the main things I like about this, because it kind of goes with my spec that I want with the gray and black. Uh, I also got the black grill going this was chrome which i personally hate chrome on cars so i had to get that done most definitely so this was gloss black i'm working with uh, i'm gonna probably end up finishing these today most likely uh actually held up pretty good for what i got to do uh i had to been on the move a lot lately so i haven't really had time to finish it we also got the tent and the trim tent that's limo five percent this is uh sort of an adhesive tape just especially made for the trim so that's kind of getting the spec right as well with the uh, space gray paint i haven't gotten to this yet because the tape doesn't really wrap around it like that so i gotta figure something else out with that which is coming soon by the way 530 bag blacked out as well as this other emblem i added in the back then we're gonna go down to the pipes so i got it muffler deleted so aftermarket pipes which i think are great on the car pipe so yeah my man said he was thinking about doing the black badge on the wheels as well uh what do, what do you guys think should he keep the blue wheels the blue badge on the wheels or should he make it black uh like he got it on the hood so you know get in the comments on the interior uh, we've got a nice classic spec black interior wood trim um even a little bit of uh brushed aluminum right here um so but this is your interior of any e60 out there um you know the m5 is going to have the m dials they're going to be more like our m6 um but yeah here we go we got the i drive right in there you control it with this guy right here got the prindle yeah it's clean spec so i think the next thing we got to do is hop in the e60 take it for a drive see what it drives like it's only right and then you know obviously we're going to compare it to my e39 m5 um, and just see the differences of the chassis, how they play on the road. So let's get it. Let's see one more. Now this is the M model, uh, this is the full shebang. Generally speaking, the interior on all of these are the same, just the only thing's different on the M is obviously has the M shift knob, which you can still get on a manual um, non-M E39. But my, my dials and everything are, um, you know, gray instead of black on a regular E39. But also the motor, motor in this one's a little a little different rest you know what I mean 
and immediately hopping out to 530 and getting to this the first thing that i feel is different is the uh the weight mm -hmm. um and almost like the how the weight is distributed does that make sense yeah like throughout the chassis i think this one actually sits a little lower like the hood is lower to the ground the roof is i feel like lower to the ground than the 60 is so i think the aerodynamics um has a, a different hold on now y'all oh. This is the V8. Very distinct sound. And it's a 4.9 liter V8. Naturally aspirated, no turbos, no superchargers, none of that bull. We rocking straight, straight, straight biceps and straight aspirated. pectorals, you know what I'm saying? The sport suspension, you can definitely tell, kind of handles the weight better than the E60. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I was saying, how the weight is distribu distributed. Yeah, definitely along the chassis. Um, it almost feels more balanced than the E39. Even even in my old 528, um, yeah. you know, that's one thing. That's why a lot of people call the E39 one of the best sedans ever, because everybody talks yeah. about how that weight is distributed. Yeah, it's a pretty heavy car, um, yeah. but when you compare it to the newer stuff nowadays, it's not. It's it's a good ratio. Yeah, especially you know I mean? for when it came out time period nothing yeah. like that was out at all so if you're somebody who's looking for um, a more luxurious feel uh, maybe has more technology involved um, definitely go definitely go with the e60 you know because you know that's gonna be your better bet it's got all that technology it's got that i drive system a um, yeah. bunch of different sensors that yeah. come with the newer versions you know, a lot more information being told to you. you know, it's literally the first generation of any infotainment system in the BMW um, in terms of navigation and um, you know tracking your your mileage and your consumption and distance and trip distance and everything. Um, this is like the first generation of it, so this is where they started it. Um, but you know, it's still kind of bare bones, which I personally like for you know a brother like me. I like having a bare bones car, you know, a raw, pure, um, more, you know, more of a driver oriented experience. Um, so I think that's what I feel like is the biggest difference between the E60 and the E39. The E39 is more of an old school pure driving experience. And then the E60 yeah. is more of a technologically advanced, uh, more luxurious, still sporty, um, but yeah. more luxurious feel Definitely. to it definitely got your classic feel in here yeah even though it is advanced compared to what was out then with other cars mm -hmm. for BMW it's definitely classic hopped out uh, we got back e39 is parked up e60 is parked up there you have it uh, i mean what do you what do you think about the e39 versus e60 comparison i think you got you're going with classic more modern you got m versus 9m mm -hmm. you're going with a bunch of different comparisons because you got the they're both five series uh you know so it's good to compare the design as well as how the ride is Mm -hmm. so you got two totally different designs in the front as well as on the sides and the back although they do look somewhat similar mm -hmm. and there's you know you can movie. tell they're related to each other exactly. you know what i mean um but yeah like you were saying they do look very different as well if you want if you want a more old school more driver focused driver oriented bmw uh that's a four-door go ahead and go with the e39 but if you want something more modern uh, has more technology available more luxurious feel definitely go with the e60 it's more modern at the end of the day i believe you can't go wrong with both uh they're both great cars non-m um or you know m car m, the m5 or just the 530 528 545 that kind of stuff they're all great cars i will say the one thing to note though which is why i'm happy he got the 530 
Uh, but one thing to note about the V60 chassis, uh, the V8s in this one have a bit of trouble with the head gaskets, um, around 100,000 miles. Uh, and that's not just for the E60, but that's also um, any BMW from that generation. Get around 100,000 miles, the head gaskets and other few things here and there uh, tend to uh, go and die out. So just keep that in mind. That's why I really love the inline six. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but you got similar issues with the uh, 535 because of the turbos too. So you also yeah. gotta watch out for those. Yeah. So yeah, this is the naturally aspirated 530 uh, inline six. Uh, make sure you check that link out in the bio for the merch. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> make sure you subscribe, drop a like on this video. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.